Opposition leader Anthony Albanese is urging the Prime Minister to address press freedom following this week's raids on ABC Sydney headquarters and a News Corp journalist's Canberra home. Stella Todorovic joins us live from ABC headquarters in Sydney. Stella, several high-profile journalists are facing possible prosecution, even possible jail time, but Peter Dutton didn't seem too concerned about that. Tom, that's right. The AFP hasn't ruled out laying charges over these separate investigations. On Tuesday, the home of News Corp journalist Annika Smethurst was raided by the AFP. Several officers turned up on her doorstep at her Canberra home with a warrant to search the property and her car over a story about a secret government plan to spy on Australians. Then on Wednesday, we saw ABC headquarters here in Sydney raided over a series of stories published in 2017, known as the Afghan files. But Peter Dutton says that there's nothing new about the idea that a journalist can go to jail for publishing top secret government documents, declaring the, the suggestion that there should be no penalty for disclosing information against national security goes against tradition. So that they, the journalists could be have... facing jail time. I, I'm concerned that if people are leaking top secret documents that that can affect our national security. Now, nobody's saying that there shouldn't be a debate about what a government is or isn't proposing, but in relation to the media scrutiny or somebody having a say about uh, what a government was proposing to do or legislation that had been put forward, that's the appropriate time for there to be scrutiny around whatever the proposal might be. But the leaking or publishing of top secret documents, which have been classified either by the Defence Department or by the Australian Signals Directorate, there are good reasons and long-standing reasons why a country like us or the United Kingdom or New Zealand would classify documents in such a way. And Tom, Anthony Albanese says that the government needs to support press freedom more and argues that the, the government isn't showing its support to journalists. Let's take a listen to what he had to say earlier this morning. Mr Morrison and Mr Dutton have to say exactly what their position is on freedom of the press. At the moment, they're silent about it. They pretend that it's nothing to do with them and there's nothing to see here. I think that uh, democracy is too important and freedom of the press is an essential component of our democracy, needs to be defended. I'll defend it, even if the government won't. Tom, the raids have sparked outrage amongst um, media outlets and journalists have jumped to the defence of News Corp and uh, the ABC across the globe. But Annika Smithhurst told Sky News last night that while there is a massive focus on free press, we should also be looking at what this means for whistleblowers. But it's more about the whistleblowers. It's about people in the public service who do see wrongdoing. Uh, and might not want to speak up even though, you know, they believe that, um, that what, what's going on isn't in the public interest. I fear that if this sort of behaviour continues and this sort of, you know, raids and intimidation, that, that people will not uh, come forward and stand up for what they think is right. has defended the operation and says that there are criminal allegations here in this case that cannot be ignored. 